Ahoy and welcome to Selfmade. Today we make a um, semi-automatic, so to speak, uh, pump action air gun. And uh, yeah, as you can see, bike pump, a cooler bottle, a bit of wood, a valve, and some uh, brass tubing for the barrel is all you need. And uh, here we go. Pro tip right at the beginning, if you want to max out the bottle, which can really hold the uh, nice amount of pressure you need to use epoxy so go grab some buy some it's really worth the time and the money and then you can really go mad with this little sucker right here first you need this one and uh, some tubing in this case 12 millimeter will fit barely in here tight fit the most important step, Teflon tape. Around this end. Now you need a screw or a threaded uh, round bar. This is M5, 5 millimeters, And uh, drill a hole right in the center. It goes right in here. And this will go into the bottle. Nut on the other side. Some glue or epoxy and it should be airtight. Many questions last time, so I thought this time I'm gonna just draw it on the block. We got a 12 millimeter drill in here, um, intake from the from the valve, and this is where our seven millimeter barrel goes for the six millimeter BBs. And the six millimeter BBs um, just go in here. We place a tiny magnet on the other side making one stick right here so they can just uh, roll out and that's actually it, a T-drill I started with uh, 7 millimeters here and there you just you have to mark where your um, holes are and then you drill right here 12 millimeter to make the intake fit and that's it then we're gonna plug this put in barrel, valve, bottle and that's it Hardest trick is to get the noopsy for the pump attachment into the bottle and I just glued it onto a stick or tubing, whatever you've got and then you push it through. This comes off and there we got it. Hot glue, on here, to make sure the BBs um, can go into the barrel, you need to cut it open. Um, I cut it open like below half of the diameter, so you, you can make, you can be sure that the BB will not uh, stick somewhere here or being blocked uh, at the entrance and then you just slide it in two of those plates made of uh, just square wood will hold the, the grip and here I go tiny block of wood to make sure the pump stays in place and now I'm gonna wrap it with some uh, tape and um, off to the next step and this is how I attach the wooden handle, very simple, just uh, hold it tight, right through both pieces and then wood screw, and the wood screw is 2.5 millimeters, the drill bit is 2 millimeters, so tight fit. Same on the other side, two screws here, one on the other side, and all we need is 45 degrees to make it flow, so just perfect. The most simple way to plug the ammo hole is one of these, and uh, yeah, it will hold up just fine. You could also just uh, screw a plate with a screw and an o-ring to the 
top of this block just uh, that I sighted on my um, BB gun, the Siren Airsoft rifle. And uh, yeah, for now I'm just gonna try out this. Looks stupid, but uh, might work. Now we got everything together. Um, our tank, the pump, the grip, the valve, ammunition, front grip on a barrel, and uh, we are ready to fire. Work just fine, and as mentioned in the beginning, you should really uh, invest and uh, buy some epoxy. The last shot uh, won't happen to shatter the glass with a um, with a hot glue. Um, so just uh, take some money, go to a store, buy epoxy. Uh, otherwise, after four strokes, you get the and that's just you losing pressure on the gun that you don't want that. So um, buy epoxy, build it, have fun with it, be careful. Um, not lethal, but still, you can lose an eye, or even worse, somebody else, and uh, i see you guys next time.